Um, in any event, uh, uh, David HaMelech removes this, uh, this clothing, this armor, and the Plishti walked going closer and closer to David, and the man bearing his shield was before him. So the Plishti has this person who's holding his shield, and um, now... Now, David HaMelech, it says uh, in verse 40 that he took his staff in his hand. And um, the reason he took his staff was because uh, he wanted to show that he's not, you know, um, not relying on anything but on Hashem. And just like Jacob, which is this week's Parsha, Jacob says, I passed the Jordan with this stake, with this uh, stick. And here also, D David is using the stick, is saying, that's all I have, the stick. And uh, just like Yaakov going to fight Esau or to fight the angel of Esau or to speak to, you know, to meet up with Esau. So, so David is meeting up with Goliath, Goliath and Goliath and with, this, with his stick, the same, the same uh, concept of uh, showing that it's only a stick. That's all, that's how they, they're fighting their, uh, you know, they're, they're pretending to fight with a, with, you know, like it's, it's all showing it's all Hashem. And um, he took these five stones. There is a medrash that says that the stones have to do with one in for Moshe, one for, um, I'm sorry, one for Hashem, one for Aaron, one for the, and in, in one for each of the patriarchs. Um, And uh, in any event, um, uh, well, in, in the, the meaning of it is Aaron is going is one of them is because Aaron is the uh, this plishti this this um, uh, th this man Goliath this uh, giant he is the one who killed Chafni and Pinchas who were Kayanim. so Aaron is the called the Gael Hadam the Avenger of the Blood and. Um, and so they were, uh, they were all paying back. Um, and Hashem was paying him back for, was giving him his punishment for blaspheming. And, um, and so you have Aaron and, the, the, and uh, you have uh, Hashem and, and the Avais, the patriarchs, that uh, when he made fun of the Jewish people, so the patriarchs are... Uh, uh, they that uh, they they want they they could they can they, they are the ones who are going to avenge um, uh, this Goliath. So that those are the five stones that he's using. That's a brought in a medrash. Uh, so the verse continues and says that the Plishti walked uh, closer and closer to David, and the man the man bearing his uh, shield was before him. The Plishti peered and saw David, and he derided him for he was a youth, ruddy and handsome. The Plishti said to David, am I a dog that you come after me with sticks? You know, uh, um, this is how you think you're going to fight me? And the Plishti cursed David by his gods. And then the Plishti said to David, come to me so that I may offer your flesh to the fowl of the heavens and to the beasts of the field. And David said to the Plishti, you come to me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you with the name of Hashem, master of the legions, the God of the battalions of Israel that you have ridiculed. On this day, Hashem will deliver you into my hand. I shall smite you, and I will remove your head from upon you. I shall offer the carcass of the Plishti camp this day to the fowl of the heavens and to the beasts, beast of the earth. And then the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And all this, all, the, all this assembly will know that not through sword or spear does Hashem grant salvation. For unto Hashem is the battle, and he shall deliver you into our hands. And this is very powerful words of, uh, spoken by David HaMelech, King David, before he's king. Uh, and it happened that when, we're in verse 48, 
And uh, it happened that when the Plishti arose and moved closer towards David, that David hurried and ran to the line towards the Plishti. David stretched his hand into the sack. He took a stone from there and slung it. And it struck the Plishti in the forehead. The stone penetrated his forehead and he fell upon his face, upon the ground. And thus David overpowered the Plishti with the slingshot and stone. He smote the Plishti and killed him. There was no sword in David's hand. He struck him with that, you know, with just the sling and the, and the, um, and the slingshot. And the stone and the slingshot. David ran and stood by the plishti. He took Goliath's sword and drew it from its sheath having already killed him and he cut off his head with it so it's 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 emphasizing here that he killed him the stone killed him now afterwards he just had, he wants to cut off his head so he takes the Goliath's sword and he chops off his head the plishti saw that their hero was dead and they ran away men of israel and judah rose up and shouted exultantly and pursued the plishti the the plishtim up to the approach to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. Plishti corpses were strewn along the Sharim road, Sharei, uh, the Derech Sharayim, the Sharayim road, unto Gas and unto Ekron. And then the children of Israel returned from pursuing the Plishtim and plundered their camp. David took the head of the Plishtim and eventually brought it to Yushalayim and his weapons he put in his tent. So, uh, this is really the uh, amazing miracle of David HaMelech killing Goliath. And, um, and now starts the, uh, the jealousy of Shaul and David, which we'll, we'll save for next week. Any questions? Okay, everyone, have a wonderful uh, evening. We'll see you tomorrow. That's a show. Like the Zint, everybody. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Rabbi. Yeah.